couldn't find a lot of speed on paper here and that might give 5. Supplizing a good chance to break through. Tried hard two starts back over a mile at this track and can forgive just an even effort around Korowa last time. Should be in the first few in running and if it's run to suit he's a good each way hope. Dangers, 6. Uptown Lily has been a beaten favourite at her past two starts at Bendigo and can't make any real excuse for either. That said she can race on the pace and it's not like she's out of form so she has to be considered. 3. Fun Tickets probably needs a genuine tempo on but he's racing well enough to be competitive. Just battled at Goulburn then kept coming from well back into third at Canberra. Down 2 kilograms here so include. How to play it, Supplizing EW, Race 3 to 2.25 p.m. Adrian Ledger Memorial Handicap 2400M3. Shinseki is flying this time in and he probably should have one here two starts back over a mile before a soft win at Benalla up to 2,040 meters. Drawn one so should spent no petrol in the run and he shapes as though he'll run out the extra trip. Sure to be in the finish. Dangers, 4. Westham is proven at the 2,400 meters with an easy win at Bendigo two starts ago. Outclassed last time at Sandown and didn't finish the race off with any gusto. Forgive that run and he's a serious threat. 6. Diamond Star Halo has battled a little in three runs back from a break but has struck heavy ground in two of them. Should race on the speed here. Her maiden win was over a similar trip at Newcastle back in July and if she can recapture that it puts her in the mix. 9. Haunted Stream deserves some thought given she was run down by Shinseki last start at Benalla. Only had the one go at 2,400 meters and was unplaced but two runs back have been good and she can't be left out. How to play it, Shinseki EW, race 4 to 3.05 p.m. Destination New South Wales Handicap 1000 M, no reason to think 5. A thousand degrees can't handle the class rise after a dominant maiden win over this course a month ago. He drops 3 kilograms for the rise in grade but drawn soft and should get a perfect run behind the pace. Certainly a good each way hope at least. Dangers, 1. Smart ain't he is ex Anthony Cummings and hasn't had a trial but if he's in good order he's dangerous. Tends to race on the speed and has the draw to not do too much work, be guided by the market for any stable confidence. 2. Funding found the line pretty well late at the 900 meters at Korowa and you'd expect 1,000 meters on the bigger track will be in his favor as he has a good record here. Definite chance point four. Swizzle Sticks was placed in a 955 meters at Mooney Valley two starts ago then dropped right out at Sandown after racing on the pace. Freshened up so expect she can return to something like her best and that would see her competitive. How to play it, a thousand degrees E, W, race 5 to 3.40 p.m. Jayco Albury Guineas, 1400M, 1. California Concord looks well placed here after a solid first up third at Rose Hill, making ground on a day that was hard to do. Extra 100 meters is a plus and the inside barrier is handy as well. Only win to date was second up last time in and chance to repeat that. Dangers, 2. So Magnific opened up a massive mid-race lead at Wangaratta last start and staved him off to hold a two-length margin on the post. More controlled in front prior and was too good at Benalla. Both those over shorter trips and she has to prove herself at 1,400 meters but sure to give a sight. 
5. Mokarina is a very consistent filly and while safely held she stayed on okay in the much stronger Canberra Guineas a couple of weeks back. We'll need a bit of luck but one of the main chances. 4. JT's The Fox came off a freshen up to run a nice second here then up to 1,300 meters proved far too strong at Korowa. Up in class but distance suits and he'll be running on again. How to play it, California Concord win, trifecta 1 half, 4, 5 halves, 4, 5, loading 2. Emperor's Way is bursting to win a race and he won't get a better chance this preparation. Went down fighting behind high arm at Randwick 4th up and he does love 2000 meters on a big track on dry ground, which he gets here. Looks enough speed engaged for him to stalk and present at the right time. Hard to beat. Dangers, 15. Nothing like Harry has put in a couple of uncharacteristic runs at Sandown and Randwick and was sent back to the trials for a confidence booster, which seemed to work as he put away the 1000 meters gallop in style. Started $11 in this race last year when far less experienced. If he fires he's a knockout chance. 7. Valak is a flashy grey front running type and he gave a big sight at Flemington when run down late over this trip by Hangman. Expect he'll be thereabouts again. One ambitious is very hard to line up. He's been going around at weight for age and drops to a listed race with 62 kilograms. Every chance and drop PD up behind Avilius at Caulfield but on his best form he's too good for this lot. The gamble is on finding that best form. How to play it, Emperor's Way win, trifecta 2 over 1, 7, 15 over 1, 7, 15, cup contender, nothing like Harry. Credit. Kylie Shaw, track picks racing photographer 7 to 4.55 p.m. Albury Brew House Flight Knacker, 900m, 3. Jester Angel is simply flying at the moment and there's no way she doesn't feature somewhere in the finish of this scamper. Won her last three in the country with a solid fifth at Warwick Farm in between and she was soft with 61 kilograms winning at Corowa last time. Drawn perfectly and hard to beat. Dangers, 6. Kai Zamba hasn't raced for two months since an easy enough win at Cranbourne over 1,000 metres. Lightly raced with a good strike rate in the versatile racing pattern. One of the main chances. 11. Another sin is smart on his day and won his only start here back in March. Looked good winning a trial at Newcastle on February 27th and bears close watching here fresh. 1. Just a Bullet won this race in 2017 and resumes after a game third over 900 metres at Newcastle in September. No match for I am a cool kid in a scone trial recently but few would be. Capable of giving some cheek here. How to play it, Jester Angel E, W, race 8 to 5.35 p.m. Platinum Sponsors Handicap, 1175 M, would love an extra 100 meters but 14. Nick Oni Pony should be in the finish somewhere with a bit of luck. She's only won once in 15 starts but she's strung together six placings on end and she's been attacking the line. With clear running here there's every chance she can finish over the top. Dangers, 8. Ballon was a shade unlucky in a stronger race at Canberra last start. Take a look at the steward's vision of the home straight and he didn't get a crack at them until the race was over. Fitter for two runs back and drawn well he's a big improver. 15. Che Yan hasn't raced since December but she's yet to miss a placing when first up so is one to keep in mind. 
the trip will be a bit short of her best but expect her to be running on late. 5. Wrecking Ball had his chance when runner-up over this course two starts back then hit the line a bit too late at Wangaratta but still a solid second placing. Needs a bit of luck but racing well and has to be considered. How to play it, Nikoni Pony E. W. Tips supplied by Racing NSW. Full form and race replay at racingnsw.com.au.